this is Crafty Mom, and today we are going to do a swirl paint on a tumbler. This is what you'll need. Uh, this is the one I did for the test. Um, I didn't leave it spinning long enough, so we have a few little blemishes. I don't know if the camera can see that, but okay, we're going to set that to the side. This is a rotisserie chicken stand that has been modified and has a mini football on the end. I'm going to take your cup and you put it on there so that when we turn it on, it will twirl. Now, I've already mixed up my raisin, but I'm going to put my colors in it. And then mix. I thought I had all these open. Okay. Should not do that with your teeth. Just remember, if you set down popsicle sticks or anything that has the reason on it, it's very sticky. Hence the reason I have a Walmart bag here um, and a yogurt container just to get all the trash. Then I can just put it all together and throw it away. You don't need a whole lot of paint. I'll show you all in just a just takes a few little drops here. Popsicle sticks again and you're going to just keep mixing until it's all a uniform color. Okay, so there's our blue and this is acrylic paint. I have Craft Smart, I've got Folk Art, I have Apple Barn, Apple Barrel. Um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart, just wherever you find what you want to use. Purple in this one. Ooh. Highly re recommend you take your wedding rings off before you do this. I got mine caught in my rubber gloves yesterday I was using and have paint on my wedding rings. So I have to get that off. So which is almost all the way off, just a kind of a reminder that, you know, you should probably take those off. Okay, then we're going to do a white. And one of these, I'm going to mix a little bit of white and pink together because I want it to be a little bit lighter and don't have anything. So this way you can do that. And of course, I'm doing this in just regular plastic cups that are disposable that way you're not ruining anything because everything this epoxy tape touches once it dries it's there to stay I think we're gonna need a little more white in here to get that that pink is very dark and bright and I want it to be lighter hard to tell but it is lighter okay probably sit better with them okay now we'll mix up the white and then we will get started and I did the one I did yesterday I used some metallic paints this one I am not using any that has metallic in it. Okay, now we have all of our paint mix. We set all this to the side, put on our gloves. Now this cup has been painted, put glitter on. I didn't like the way it turned out, so I took it off again. Tried again, still didn't like it, so I took it off again. So this one will now be a swirl tumbler. Okay, all gloves. And we're going to turn it on. And usually you start with your darker colors first. And it doesn't really matter how you put it on to begin with because it's all going to blend it in. But you're basically, you need to make sure you have full or something underneath it. Because as you can see, it drips off and goes everywhere. 
just kind of you know, back forth kind of sweeping motion. And if it gloops up on this one, on the first one, it's not as big of an issue because you will be smoothing it out. Looks like you're putting a lot of the epoxy with the paint on there, but it, as you can tell, it does drip off pretty easily and quickly. So I won't sit up there right at the moment. Now I have someone holding it. I think I need to figure out how to put a weight on there to make it. darker pink and you can see how it's starting to swirl around and move about and I'm shaky today really want to make sure you get you know most of the white part covered really well the first time around even though you will be smoothing it out and then putting more on top of it you really want to work on getting that cup covered trying to get more of these holes filled in. And definitely see why we have full over our board. Also, it's a smart idea to do this in an old shirt because when you get it on your clothes, it's sticky. It doesn't like to come off. Get some white on. Just a little more paint down here on the bottom of the cup before we start smoothing it just because there's not a whole lot right through here. Same time, get some of those spots that. You 
can see as it's already starting to swirl as it goes. Rotates around. Let's see how many. We got any more little spots where I need to drop a little more paint on here. I think the cameraman says there's something coming up. fun part. You're going to take a pastry brush and as it rolls and spins and it's coming towards me, you're just going to take the brush lightly and smooth. And that's just going to go ahead and work on where it's not really got the best coverage. You can get it going into those spots, but I need to remember you want to go over because wherever you stop with that brush, it's going to leave a line. Be not careful. I think we have all swirled it. Some right here on the ends. Since we already, it's already on here. I found the best thing and easiest way to clean this brush is to soak it in pure acetone, which I have over here in a cup. I'm pissing to set it in because you won't be using the brush again. So just set it like so. It can soak till you're done and then so now you'll add your second layer of paint. How are we doing over there? Okay. How's your time? I don't know what he's, I don't know what he's saying. Oh, okay. 13. Now this, when you're doing your last layer, you kind of want to make sure that you don't have as many gloops like you did in the first. If it happens, it happens, but... I think I started with purple instead of blue that time, but that's okay. Ew. It's kind of blue. I'm beginning to think these darker colors just enjoy glooping to gloop. And you're going to have to leave it spinning on this base for quite a while while it continues to drip and dry. I don't think um, Team Gamer wants to hold it that long, so I'll have to figure out how to make it behave. Maybe time to put a can on it. Give it some weight. I don't think he wants to spend his last weekend before school starts back holding my cup for me. those two a little bit darker. He's we'll find something to to make it behave.
tank over here. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, it just keeps spinning and, and doing its thing. Now we'll do the white. I let it hit the cup, but it'll be all right. There. let a bunch of white go right there so i'm just when it comes back around i'll just put a little bit of other colors through it and we will be finished so you can see where my white gloop is coming around i'm sure should be i need it all run off yep i think it's coming Most of it ran off. Okay, here. Well, that will be it for this. And it will continue to spin for several hours before it is dry. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.